Michael Strahan right now. He is way up north. He's on an important message. <laughs> mission. He's at the subarctic tundra in Churchill, Manitoba, Canada. Climate change threatening the survival of polar bears. Michael, you looked awful cold before. You know what, George? You say that like you have concern, but then I hear all the laughter in the background. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. And, um, you know, good morning. Good morning to all of you. And it is absolutely freezing out here. The wind is whipping. The snow is coming from every direction, like that, that rain and forest gump from underneath to sideways everywhere. I'm tearing up, but cold aside, this is truly breathtaking. I mean, it really is a beautiful place to see in person. And the animals that call Churchill, Manitoba home, well, they are just incredible. And we're here to see one animal in particular, the magnificent polar bear. Churchill, Manitoba is one of the southernmost homes of the polar bear. And I spent yesterday on one of these buggies behind me, which this is called the Tundra buggy. And we drove to where the, the bears live. We got as close as possible to them in their natural habitat while keeping a safe distance, which is very important. We learned so much about how these beautiful creatures live and um, eat and what they eat and how their home is under threat from climate change. It must have been amazing to see a polar bear up close. It is, it's, it's, I actually got to see three. The first ones we saw were three of them. We saw a mama bear, we saw her two cubs, and the, and the, the cubs, I asked the question, how long are the cubs with their mom? They stay with mom for two or three years before mama bear says, Get out of here. I'm going back to be an empty nester and you're on your own. <laughs> okay, you're learning a lot. You're seeing a lot. We know you're cold. You're having a good time. It's majestic. You told us about your tundra buggy there. But it, in all seriousness here, though, you're here for a reason and to show why this population of polar bears is so important. Well, you know what, TJ? These guys, they are the first population of polar bears whose decline in numbers researchers were able to directly link to climate change and sadly they'll be one of the first to vanish if the earth keeps warming at the rate that is currently warming right now. And Michael, I a couple years back had the honor of reporting on polar bears up in Kaktovik, Alaska and I remember safety being a big concern. They always said it's not the polar bear you see, it's the one you don't. So I know you have special guards with you. Well, they are, Amy, you're exactly right, because they are extremely hard to see, even when it's clear out, because they're their first translucent, so they just kind of blend in. But when it's like this, you can barely see right in front of you, and you have to be very careful on the ground here. And this far out in the tundra, tundra we have two bear guards with us. And I'm going to ask one of them to join me. Kyron, come on in here, my friend. This is Kyron. And um, you know what, you think of these folks like the polar bear security detail. So Kyron is our guard, he's on foot. The other one, he's in a car nearby and we're not allowed on the ground without these guys with us, okay? So their job is to watch out for bears, detect them while they're, 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 they're still a safe distance away. And if a bear approaches, see he's looking around right now, making sure we're good. These guys are gonna get everyone off the ground as quickly as possible to keep us all safe. And they also have bear deterrence, like bear spray, which you can think of it as like pepper spray and a popper pistol, which makes a loud noise to scare the bears away. Well, I'm glad you're with them. And Mike, you got a lot more to show us tomorrow? Yes, George, I got a lot more to show you tomorrow. I'm going to bring you guys on our journey through the tundra. You're going to meet all the polar bears that we did, and you're going to learn about the ways that we can still save the bears, which in turn is really saving ourselves. It's all part of ABC News' ongoing climate crisis coverage, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys tomorrow. But until then, watch this. You guys can't do this, can you? <laughs> the Tundra Angel. Come to you in the studio. Right. For the polar bears. That was really something. Cannot wait for tomorrow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.